Hi, this is Ed. I hope you all are having a good day today. Today I have an encouraging message to bring to you all from uh, one of the Psalms. You know, the, the Psalms have many uh, passages written in them that are very encouraging to us. And I, I just love reading through the Psalms. I, I read some of the Psalms uh, pretty much every day in the morning, you know, before I get ready to go to work. So I want to read from Psalm 84 today and then share some comments that I have on it with you all. I believe you all will be blessed by this message today. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found a house, and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. What a powerful psalm this is. and Again, it is very encouraging. Verse 1, the word amiable means beloved. And the tabernacle is the dwelling place. How beloved is thy dwelling place, O Lord. He dwells in us if we are born again of the Spirit. And his presence is fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. We get strength and joy from spending time in his presence. Verse 2, when our hearts long to be in his presence, and call out to him in worship and praise, he will fill our thirsty soul. Verse 3, the Lord takes care of his sparrows. And he also says in another passage that we are worth much more than many sparrows. So he certainly takes care of us as well. Blessed are those, this is verse 4, blessed are those who dwell in his presence, for they shall be filled with good things. Verse 5, blessed are those whose hearts are totally surrendered to the Lord. Verse 6, Baca represents a dry place. The Lord makes dry places like a well, a well of water. Isaiah 43, 19 says he will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Verse 7, they go from strength to strength. Our strength is daily renewed as we take on his strength. Philippians 4.13 says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Does it say some? No. It says all. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Verse 8, the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous and answers them in due time. Verse 9, the Lord is our shield. He protects us from evil and the fiery darts of the enemy. The enemy can do our souls no harm unless we turn away from the Lord. Verse 10, one day in the presence of the Lord is better than a thousand days elsewhere. But we can enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. The Lord loves a thankful heart. Verse 11, no good thing will he withhold from the upright. He doesn't necessarily give us all our wants, 
but he does supply our needs, and his grace is surely sufficient for all who partake of it. Verse 12, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Believe that he is your shield and strength, and thank him for all of the wonderful benefits of his salvation. The Lord is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Let us spend much time in seeking the Lord, spend time in his presence, and reading his holy word, spending time in prayer, worship and praise, and fellowship with other believers, sharing the love of Christ with others, those that are lost, those who do not know the Lord. If you do not know the Lord as your own personal Savior, I invite you to ask him to come into your heart today. You can just ask him simply to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you and to baptize you with the Holy Spirit to help you be ready for heaven and give you an inheritance into his marvelous kingdom of light. For those who call upon the Lord shall be saved. So I hope this message has been an encouragement and a blessing to you all. As always, stay close to the Lord. Keep loving one another. Stay repenting of all sin. And keep looking up. Bye-bye.